so what do you do that's weird? Write it down. No shame, no judgment. Write it down. Hide behind your avatar on YouTube. Let me know what you do. That's weird. What do you do? What do you think about? What do you believe is weird? Is weird just a spectrum? Is it in the eyes of the beholder? Like, are you like, oh, Scott, I use a loofah in the shower and I don't use a bar anymore. Oh, I'm so weird. Oh. No, it's, that's not that complicated. I mean weird. Like, I think it's, it's weird that people inject testosterone into their muscles to make them bigger. That's just me, okay? But that's weird. But it works for them. I think it's weird. I think it's weird to work 40 hours a week plus to make bank manager. That's weird. That's weird to me. But it works for people. And people have their own desires and own goals. And, and it works for them. So I wonder what you do that's weird. And the whole point of this video and this podcast episode, it's all about being human. And we do some weird stuff. As a culture, as a society, governments do it, families do it, individuals do weird shit. And until it becomes pathological, you know, if you're like, oh, Scott, my, my cool weird thing is I have to check the doorknob that it's locked 63 times before I leave the house. Okay, <clears throat> let's, have a, let's have a talk, okay? So that's, that's getting a little out of hand. But let me give you an example because this video came to me. I'm actually in Vancouver, Canada visiting my brother hence the setup and uh, then I'll be in Victoria for about a month so you're gonna get some cool nature shop uh, shops shots we're gonna hang out in the woods together and talk life in Jesus okay sound good so make sure you stay tuned every single Monday new episode I'm going to Starbucks and here's the thing and I'm curious if all of you relate I only drink out of glass in the summer and I drink out of ceramic in the winter hey Craig my brother Found this in the guy went through your cupboards, man. Awesome mug. Thanks a lot. He's at work. I'm studying for uh, my final and my essay on biological foundations of neuroscience. So this is going to be quick. I go to Starbucks. They don't give you mugs anymore, you bastards. So I get the cup. I cannot drink out of a paper cup with the plastic lid, with tea, with coffee, with anything. I need to pour it into a mug. So if I'm doing work at Starbucks, work at a coffee shop, and they only have the to-go cups, I give them the mug. I say, just make it in there. If they say we can't, which some actually do, and it's weird, I take the, the paper cup and I pour it into the mug. I can't drink out of those. Is it some kind of phobia? I don't know. But for the weirdness that you have and the actions that you take that are considered weird, I'm inviting you to lean into them. Lean into the weirdness. The weirdness is is so part of our individuality to a degree until you go on YouTube until you go on TikTok until you go on Instagram and you find out that two billion people are doing this shit you are not alone in your weirdness you are not alone in your ideas and experiences when life gets good you're still not alone when life gets tough you're still not alone and when you do weird stuff you're still not alone so glass for summer ceramic for winter and I told my buddy Rob this. Hey, Rob. And he's like, yo, my uncle does the same thing. They go to a coffee shop. They went to Starbucks. He gets the cup, right? He's like, I can't drink this, Rob. What the heck? He drives over to the dollar store, buys a mug, brings it back in the car, <laughs> pours, pours the coffee into the mug, and then starts driving. You can end your weirdness explanation with because. Why do you do that? Because. Because. Because it feels right. Because it's me. Just because. Don't explain yourself for the weird shit. Do it because you do it. Just do it. Do it because it's you. Do it because it feels right. It's not hurting anybody. It's not polluting the lake. Okay? It's not harming you yourself. Embrace the weirdness. I wonder if you can comment, my friends, and tell me something you do that's weird. And if you do this whole mug thing, are you with me there? Now, the weird things that we do are, again, the spectrum. Are you like, Scott, uh, I knit 
I knit together my boxers and underwear and that's my sheet in bed. I don't buy sheets, I just knit undies. I'm like, okay, you got free time to knit, you're probably great at sewing or whatever and it's an expensive sheet probably. But whatever you do, lean into it. If it takes you time, if you enjoy it, if it keeps you in the moment, lean into your weirdness. Have a great week and your homework is my friends. Lean into what makes you, you. Do not be filled with shame. Do not be filled with, filled with regret. Do not be filled with guilt for the things you do as an individual that aren't quote unquote the norm. Fuck the norm. Embrace it. And I'll see you all next week in Victoria, BC, Canada. All right? And we're shaking here. Hey, Margo. Margo? Hi. All right. Take care, everyone. Have a great week, and God bless you. We're going to be talking Jesus and possessions next week, so stay tuned, all right? Bye-bye.